Hey guys, it's Neil with Roadrunner Sports, and today we're checking out Hoka's new shoe, the Kawana. After 11 years of running and never even slipping on a pair of Hoka's, I figured it was time to give it a shot. These Kawanas did not disappoint. At first glance, they certainly look like Hoka's with their signature large outsole, and they definitely, definitely have that cush feel that everyone talks about. After four runs and one boot camp class, here are three things I love about the Kawana. Number one, it's comfy. I just never bought into the hype of cushion in the past and I stuck to my tried and true stuff. Uh, but I gotta tell you, once after putting these on, I immediately understood why so many people are running in Hoka's today. Number two, they're fast, or at least they make me feel faster. Uh, that could be because it is a comfortable shoe. Every step just feels great and that leads to more energy. And really every step I took in these, uh, one running just felt like a mini launch. Number three, the anatomical Achilles construction seen here. Basically what that means is they designed this area so that it offers the support to your heel and Achilles without being invasive. And I, myself, I felt that in all my runs with these so far, that I could feel that support being there, but it never once rubbed or chafed or got in the way, just made the run that much more enjoyable. Okay, let's talk specs. The men's shoe weighs in at 10 ounces and the women's at 8.4 ounces. Both shoes have a heel to toe drop of five millimeters. And at $140 retail, this shoe will support you through both your runs and your workouts. If you're a runner or a gym rat or both, I believe this shoe's for you as it can do both and transition in between running and workouts pretty seamlessly. So how does it fit? Well, the short answer is very well. I experienced no hot spots or discomfort and that's both from my initial try on up to my last mile of my fourth run. The upper feels extremely flexy, um, and that's really led to no break in time. My first run felt like I'd been running in them for weeks. You might notice that the outsole has a tail feature. The Hoka calls this the swallowtail heel. And what that does is for a heel striker, you'd come down on this first and it actually absorbs some of that energy and impact. When you finish your stride, it's a much smoother step. Uh, myself, I'm a more of a midfoot striker, so that didn't really apply to me, although I think it looks pretty cool. Now, as a Hoka shoe, I already expected these to be very comfortable and super cushy, and it was exactly as expected when I first put them on. My fear at first was that it would be too cushioned, and then I would just completely lose that connection with the road. Uh, but to be honest, it is cushioned, but they're still controlled. I still felt the connection with the road, albeit it was a much more comfortable run. Speaking of which, the outsole is made from a new foam, which is designed to be more lively and responsive during your run. And I'll mention it again, but I can totally feel that experience in my feet. And you should be able to see it here in this slow-mo clip of the shoes in action. If I could change one thing about this shoe, it would probably be the materials of the aglets, which are these pieces at the end of the laces, and the eyelets. Um, as a runner who doesn't listen to music and I like to hear the environment around me, um, these pieces would typically just kind of tick and tap at each other every time I took a step and it just got annoying after a while but uh, let's be honest I'm just nitpicking here because this shoe really is that great. A few lace tucks here and there and problem was solved. The Hoka Kawana guys, check it out.